Okay, what are we doing today, Mom? I don't know. Yes, you do. And I'm not Mom! Mrs. Fisher. Thank we you. are doing toothbrush splatter painting little harp seals. You won't be able, you might be able to see what we're doing. You can also oh, do it. Like this. You can also do it in a box like this if you don't want to get splatter painted all over. But we're gonna just make a mess. Yeah. Now, how do you use a box like this? You put the paint. Okay, you put your plain paper. Well, in there. we're gonna tape. Well, wait, hold on first. Hold on. Everything we show you out here, you should do in a box because you don't want to be a slob. Or you can do it outside. And make sure you're wearing clothes. You can get messed up. If you want to wear an apron, you can wear an apron. But I have an apron on. Okay. I yeah. earned this apron. I earned this. I was chosen by Kua. By, um, I can't tell you the brand name. But Crayon. Crayon Company. Yeah. We're not sponsored. Um, okay. We have these little seal, harp seal cutouts. They're from a Cricut machine. Now, why did you pick harp seals? Because I teach harp. Uh, but, okay. And? And because we had them. Well, that's a good reason, but why is this activity important for musicians and students and you, you out there in well, audience land? First of all, sometimes you can just have fun. True. Second of all, we're going to be doing a, cra uh, a, a painting craft activity. Um, third of all, you can learn all about harp seals, how there are three different, like, kinds of them that live in different areas that don't interbreed, apparently, and they have the name harp seal because... I think it's the males have like a heart pattern on their back. I can't see the heart pattern, but apparently there is one there. Um, and this is important research because many animals and many plants have musical names. Did you know that? Yeah, that can be part of a lesson. It can make the lesson more exciting and it can expand the person's horizon of intellect. That goes with little children on up to oldie folks like me. Okay, so we're going to take painter's tape. And we're going to tape our template onto our paper. We've got a dark sheet of paper. We've got dark green, but you can use whatever color you want, but we're going to use white paint. Now, and another the, reason oh, splatter painting is, or spatter, whatever you want to call it, is an important activity is because it uses fine motor skills, and that's what you need to use, fine motor skills. Those are the small little muscles, the pincher things, the pincher to pluck the harp strings, yes. to hold your bow, right? Yes. To, to play the piano keys, to, move to write your string. notes, guitars. Yes. Fine motor skills are very important. And what you need to know too is this: as a general rule, not always. Remember, there's nothing as always, except for God. As a general rule, girls' fine motor skills develop sooner than boys. That. I think is why girls like to sit and draw and write and do things like that, where boys would rather run and jump and bounce off the walls because they're exercising their large motor skills, which are developing. Girls are exercising their small motor skills, which are developing. Children develop at different rates. I'm trying to see if there's anybody here. There's nobody here. Go ahead. Keep and going. they develop at different rates at different times, and you need to know that too. So, if you have a child that's very active and you do this and you wonder why they're squirming around like they've got something biting them, it's probably because they just aren't used to sitting still. They're not ready. Okay. Okay. While she was telling you all that lovely information, I taped our things on here. That way they won't move. Hopefully we won't get as much paint around. What we were talking about with the box is... Here, I'll hold the box. You can just... This would be flat, of course, and then put your paper in here and then do what we're going to do in the box. But we're just going to get it all over the table. In our and sets. you can also put cram on the box. No, <laughs> better painter. <laughs> I that's hope. a joke. That's a Yeah, that's a joke. Not a real grandma. Just a pretend grandma. Okay. So, you now, remember, also need... You want to make things happy. You want to make learning experiences what? Fun? Fun. Because how do you learn the best? When you're having fun. But yeah. you can't always have fun. Sometimes you just got to do stuff. Well, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, but you can laugh right through it. <laughs> oh well, here we go. Um, okay, so you need your template, whatever you choose to have. Um, you could use a physics machine or a Cricut, or you could hand cut something, or you could use stencils, if you have stencils. If you teach school, I'm sure they have an analysis machine that you can do, and you can do this with your class. 
Um, and we don't have a Cricut. We have a Sizzix machine, but we used a friend's Cricut. Thank you, Debbie. Um, Thank you, Debbie. And cut stuff out. And this is just the scrap from around it that I save because I save stuff. You'll also need a little bit of water. Also, she pellet. saves stuff and notice it's not wasteful. It's not like she's just collecting yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is all stuff that we had here. I didn't have to buy anything. And you can do this. You can do this. And you could easily use construction paper. This is scrapbook paper I mean, because we had it. You can do this. But you could easily use construction paper. It would even be cool to try on newsprint. Yes, it would be. Or like an old dictionary page or old music. Or a used gift wrap. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So we've got the water. You need a toothbrush. Which toothbrush do you want? The one that you didn't use. To brush my teeth? Yeah. Well, neither one. Oh, fun story. One time I brushed my teeth and I noticed there was hair or something in my mouth. And, oh, somebody's here. Hi there. Maybe, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, and I realized I was brushing my teeth with the cleaning toothbrush. Um, you should clean teeth. Okay. This is another thing. You need to change your toothbrush regularly to prevent germs. However, when you change your toothbrush, put Save it aside it. for an art activity or for cleaning. It's but great not for brushing your teeth no, after no, you no, clean no, with no, it. No, 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 not for brushing your teeth. <laughs> no. And now you need some white acrylic paint. Do you always have to use white? No, you can use whatever color you want, but harp seals are generally white or whitish, and the pups are white. With so greens? No, the green's the background. Oh, okay, got so it. So we're using white. So I've got the water, I'm gonna squirt a little bit of white. What kind of paint here. is that again? Acrylic. It's patio paint, cloud white. It's from Deco Art. And we are sitting on our patio, by the way. It's beautiful outside. I can hardly believe it. And, and all our neighbors can hear us, yes. especially my mom. And especially with these homebound things, it's wonderful. They, they said there were armadillos having a party not too long ago. And believe it or not, there were some Florida bobcats in our neighborhood. Three of them. Don't know what they were doing. But anyhow, it was good. So, I and I wake up in the morning and I hear the cute the birds singing. Oh, it sounds so beautiful. So I mixed the Well, they're tweeting. I don't know if it's singing. So I mixed the paint and the water together, and then you're just gonna get it on your toothbrush, and then you just flick at the paper. Can you can they see what I'm doing? You're just gonna go like this. And some of it well mom's is nicer. Mine has big blobs on it, but however you want to do it. And I think I'm spraying a whole bunch at my mom. That's okay. If you're a kid, you don't want to splatter this at other people, but if you're an adult, sometimes you get different rules. Well, you take a long time. Is that your toothbrush? What do you mean? Yes, it's Look, a toothbrush. Mine is, ooh! Mine it is looks like her harp seal pooped all over itself. Or had threw up or something. Here, try this toothbrush instead. No, oh, I'm, I'm liking this. This is fun. Oh, she's See, liking it. See, it's, it's really fun. helping my fine motor skills and then there's me i just raced through it and now there's a big puddle and this, you do have children you know, that will do that too i put too much water and not enough paint but you learn from these things yeah. i hope you out there in cyberland are learning something if you're here hey bethany hey not, not twisty bethany this is bethany from college hi bethany from college the one that i was telling you about with when we went um oh now look it got See? a big block. Now try this one. When we went um, tubing. Yes, I remember that. You felt She fell out and you tried to push her out. And I don't know what happened, but there. we have a delightful picture. May I have something? Are you clean? done already? Yes, I'm, well, I'm done with this part. Okay. Dum dum. I would suggest if you're going to do this, not minding being messy. Because sometimes it's fun just to be messy. You can go out in your backyard. You can hose off after you're done with it. Or you can do it right before bedtime. And you can take a bath um, yes. or your child, whoever's going to do this. Yes. Um, okay, so and I have... This is something they can do in the bathtub. Oh, that's a good idea. Instead of using a cardboard box, use a dish pan that'll float. That's a good idea. And then they can do it in the bathtub. You could try it with watercolors, too. Yes. I don't know how well it would work, but experiment. Okay, so I have two that I've already splatter painted and let dry. Which one do you want? I'm showing the clothes. Um, which one do I want? Well, not this one. Okay, so I chose this one. I chose this one that has lines on its face. I did both of these. Actually, so, I chose this one, but I can't really tell. So why. we're gonna re remove the stencil. Okay, does that mean take the tape off? Yes. What kind of tape is this? It doesn't stick very well. Painter's it's, tape. 
painter's tape. I said that. What if they don't have painter's tape? What are they going to You could use washi tape. You could hold it in place. Uh, what else can you do? Well, if you have real sticky tape. Oh, yeah. You stick it on your clothes. Show them how you do that. You go like this. And then it won't stick as much. You can do that with bandages, too. So if your skin is sensitive, you can take the bandage and you go all over your clothes for a while and it loses part of it's sticky but it still sticks so if you don't have painter's tape you can take regular tape if it's too sticky see this is coming off nicely it's not ripping up the picture see except for my splatter painting didn't turn out very well oh oh well that's okay not everything turns out exactly as you plan you're right it's like tie-dyeing now I'm taking the black stencil off. It's that little detail area, I guess. It's small. And it might be because I let them dry. Maybe if you take it off before it's as dry, I don't know. No, I think it possibly is because it's too much paint. Well, that figures. But, but you, this is an experiment. It is an experiment. And it's an science. experience. And I'm sure that there's science with this too, isn't there? Oh, I know, like that straw. Well, natural sciences too, but. Like the straw, the straw. And it's a very good lesson on negative and positive space. Oh, yeah. Light colors, dark colors. Like what? Light colors and dark colors. Yes. I can't pay. You should probably be more patient than I am if you're doing this. Uh, oh. La, 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 la. Oh, nice. How do you like it? It's good? Good? Yep. We're doing a live stream on Facebook and then we're also recording on the t the camera, which is why we're going back. And I hope you liked the first one we did. Oh, our live stream. Yes. Lipstick on your tooth again. Again? Do you see it? Okay. Before the camera battery dies. Wait, is it off? Yes. Okay, thank okay, you. I have the, I have, we have Google Eyes, which are our favorite thing. Also, when you're doing crafts, it's always handy to have a bag. Even if you scotch tape it on the side of your table to put your trash in, so you don't have to clean so much up later. And you can have a bin for compost for the paper. That's right. Um, okay. So or, you can recycle the paper and make your own paper with it. Yes, that's true. And put seeds in it. And yes. then you plant the paper and the seeds grow. We actually had that happen, and we've been eating the tomatoes from that. Yes. Okay, so I have the silver marker, I have these two gold Sharpie paint pens, and I have a Sharpie for us to decorate the little face or any other details we want to add. But I don't know what a harp seal looks like. Well, make it up. Okay. okay. You can always look at one for reference, but we're just gonna, what do you want first? I'm gonna use black. Okay, I'm gonna use the silver first. I'm gonna make it whiskers, because I'm pretty sure they have whiskers. Whiskers as... Yes, they as have those too. Miranda sings. Yeah. And then I'm gonna give it a little black nose. I'm giving my little silver snoot, but it's not showing up very much. And I'm gonna make it a little kind of a cat smile. I'm gonna use this gold paint pen. Oh, it's so cute. It looks like Felix the cat. You know, there's actually a harpist that does lullaby with a harp seal. Yeah. It doesn't look like Felix the cat. Yeah, it does, kinda. I'm giving it a fingers. Oh, so it can play the harp? Wow, oh, it's waving. I had a student, mom knows this story, but I asked her if the dog could play the piano or song on the piano or something, and she said, no. And I said, why not? She said, she doesn't have thumbs. Opposable thumbs. No, she didn't say opposable thumbs. Oh, never mind. I got the story all wrong. But um, anyway, she was like four or five. She's what? Four or five. Oh, I yeah. think she was four. What are you waiting for now? I need eyeballs. Are you ready for eyeballs? Are you not going to use gold or anything? Why? You said it's mine. It's not yours. But you're right. You can do whatever you want. I'm just okay. Now I'm taking a long time. Okay. Some Google eyes, some other Google eyes, and some imitation Elmer's glue. I certainly hope Debbie's watching or sees the replay of this because googly eyes are googly great. Now, let me see. I don't know if I have a girl or a boy harp seal. So, 
I'm gonna give mine little fingers too. Oh man, you could also take, if you're doing something like this, you could take um, old instrument strings, which is what I meant to do, but I forgot, and make them for the little whiskers. That would be cute. Oh, that'd be great. I'm still looking for Google eyes. Only thing is I can't find matching ones. I really don't want to give it one green one and one blue one this time. Ah, poor man on the table. Excuse me. Oh, a great way to store your craft things are in these little plastic bottles. These, uh... They're from, like, a crystal light or imitation crystal yeah, light. Yeah, because you can see through them and see what's in them. Only thing is I couldn't find two matching eyes, but I'm looking now. Give me just a minute. And don't forget to sign your work, too. Oh, I forgot to sign my work. Well, but I can still do it. So if you're watching live or the replay, ew. Um, let us know what one of your favorite music crafts is to do, or one of your favorite activities to do with your students. Or if you'd like to see more fun crafts that you can do with, with students to improve their fine motor skills so they can continue taking music lessons and become more successful. By the way, you know everybody that takes music lessons is not going to be a symphonic. Like every harpist isn't going to be a symphonic harpist. So, why That's me. We, I'm not a symphonic harpist. But she was at one time. But why aren't we trying to make everybody like that? Why aren't we trying to make things enjoyable? But again, sometimes you got to just power through the non-enjoyable parts. And sometimes people do enjoy being a symphonic carpet. Yes. Or whatever. Symphonic. But particularly with senior reasons. citizens, you should ask them what is their goal. And I highly doubt that they will tell you they want to be a symphonic carpet. But then again, you never know. Hang on. I'm and I'm my using. Eyes. Oh, that's so cute. I'm using these little tiny googly eyes that I got at the Goodwill. Oh. I'm pretty sure they're from the Goodwill. I got mine that I On sale after how It may have that so I can put the googly eyes away, please. Oh, yes. Also, you can find googly eyes on all kind of stuff if you, and you just keep your eyes off. And you pick them off. Yeah. You keep your eyes off? <laughs> oh, we should have given it one eye like Mikey. <laughs> She's referring to Mike Wazowski in case you didn't pick up on that. What? I was telling them that you're referring to Mike Wazowski in case they didn't pick up on that. I know. I know. I got my eye on you. The eyes have it. Anyway, googly eyes to me are really great. They're a wonderful asset. And they yes, just kind of <laughs> make things pop out. Because they're little pop out googly eyes. And you can put them on anything. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a flower. You put one right in the middle of it. Yeah, make it look real natural. It does. That's why they call them black-eyed Susans. <laughs> now, you know something that's very interesting? Are you listening? Are you going to answer? Oh, I thought you were talking to our audience and I didn't no. think they could. I'm talking to you. Well, I know a lot of interesting things. We both had the same template. But look how much, how differently they came out. Are you gonna sign yours? I, I don't have any pen, thank you. Oh, and then you gotta date it too. This would be a fun little like summer or winter camp activity too. And also it could be mounted to make a cute present for someone. Yes. And they can do this on a uh, butcher paper. The stuff comes packed in. You or a brown paper bag. Yes, and, but they could use it for gift wrap. <gasps> yeah. Man, tons of things you need. Okay, let's show them ours. See? Here. Isn't that cute? And now let's show that one. Oh, I love crafts. Always did like crafts, you know. Anyway, so. Oh, oh no! My Google Eye wasn't dry. So you probably dry. should leave it flat till it dries. Um, and I don't know how well this glue will stick, but that's okay. Um, and you, you can use what you have. Use what you, you have. You could even, it would be cool if you had some sort of 
something to use. There'll be a stencil that's just some kind of a shape, and then they could make that into something musical. Yes. Like and if you, you had a circle, then they could add a note and a flag and make an eighth note. That's a good idea, too. Thank and you. also, instead of the green paper, you can use a piece of material. Just tape it down. Mm -hmm. The best way to do things... Fabric paint. That could be cool. Yes, it could. And the best thing to do is tape the paper and the stencil to the table. Or, if you don't want to do that, use a tray. Minimize the, um, minimize any pictures that the child might have in getting paint everywhere or spilling things or whatever because they get in trouble for things they can't help. And also, I think it's important to try to have it somewhere where if it does spill by accident, it doesn't matter. Like that box. Get the box out. There are so many things you can do in that box that will prevent so much trouble. And I remember one time we had a kid visiting our house, remember? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't remember, but I remember the story. But she just couldn't help it. Everything, she knocked mm -hmm. stuff over and would fall. I mean, it was just what she was going through. So she, she didn't. And some of us don't outgrow it. Oh, that's the truth. Anyway, they were having Kool-Aid or something in the living room at the little kid's table and she spilled it all over and I just said, well, here, here's a, a dish rag, just clean it up. She looked at me real funny she said, aren't you going to yell at me? I said, no, just go clean it up. So Boy she kid. went, she did a good job cleaning it up, didn't she? I guess. Oh. She did a wonderful job. I don't know who that is. We'll take care of it in a little bit. Is that okay? Sorry, folks. That's our music to compose by. Just kidding. Anyway, we're mother. almost done anyway. But you and know, sometimes okay. kids get in so much trouble and they don't need. You know, if what it's an accident, I mean, if it's malicious, that's different. But if it's an accident, here's what they should get in trouble for: pushing it over, doing illegal drugs. Well, that too. That's all harming here. humans and other life. Now, back to this. Being rude, <laughs> crude, and impolite. Now, like, wait, we're rude, crude, and impolite. Scratch that off the list. Now, if you're thing, this got all wavy, and I think it's because I had too much water in it. And it's humid outside. Yeah. Um, but, so, you could probably just put it, once it dries, put it under something heavy. And, um, <gasps> hi, Rachel. Um, hi, Rachel. 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 Do I know Rachel? You know of Rachel. Oh, hi, of Rachel. Um, I'm her mom. Anyway, he, um, she's my daughter. In case you didn't get the baby, first time. forget what it. Anyway, once it dries, you can put it under something hard, and it should flatten out. Um, but also, just don't mix a whole bunch of water in the paint like I did. Just do some. Um, and I think that's all. Are you ready to go before the camera dies? I'm ready. Okay. Wait a minute. Maybe we'll do another one of yeah, these someday. Let us know either in the replay, in the comments, or um, in the live stream or whatever if you want us to do another one. Uh, my nose it just. We might do another one whether you want it or not. We'll see. Um, and let we us know can, if there's anything you want us to talk about or try or if you want us to just sit here and pick our noses like I seem to be doing. Yeah, that's nice. And, and also we can do a... Uh, hit your hand. I'm fine. We could we break can, this table. I know. Anyway. Also, we have a way to teach you to play piano. Oh, In yeah. In 15 minutes, we can have you play a song. We might put that one up someday, but I don't know. I Think didn't know it. we could do it in 15 minutes. We can do it in 15 minutes. I'm not saying it'll sound good, but I'm saying we can do it. Well, okay. what do we say now? Until next time, thumbs, thumbs up! up.